Okay, so we took this one out yesterday and found out the 60 mil prop was a little bit too big. I was running at 55 and it did pretty close to 90 k's an hour. And then we jumped it up to 60 with the same pitch and that. And that also did what well, did 90 k's an hour bang on. So I know that prop's too big, but we didn't hurt anything. So I'm just going to do another test with changing the. Um, well, I'm changing the uh, SR to, well, taking the SR off, which somebody uh, tells me on YouTube, it's a um, oh form of optimization for the speed controller, so you don't burn as many amps up. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're going to find out. So we should. So we turn him off. Okay. So we're going to see if that goes any faster without this protection. And then I might just play with the timing as well. So we'll do a run, see if it still does 90 k's an hour. Maybe it does a bit more. Who knows? Maybe it goes slower. And then I'll just do a run just by changing one setting on the um, timing and just show you what that, if anything, does. Uh, we're going to be running this little Bluetooth thing as well. Um, Brock knows about this sort of stuff. Me, I don't. It's going to go up to his phone. It tells him how many amps the motor draws, how many RPMs it did, stuff like that. All right, I got the, the Bluetooth module in there now. Connected to Brock's uh, phone. Working. What temperature is it out here, Brock? Uh, well, it was it's on freezing. 15 and then it just dropped down to 14. So I think it's getting used to it. But it's my car said it was eight. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's cold. <laughs> I think 14's optimistic. Alright, so I'll just do like two laps with this and see, what it, see if it still does exactly the same speed as it did yesterday. No, with the SR thing off. See what happens. I'll have to stick over there if I don't want to get in the court in their lines. It'd be bad for me. Just come over here. So does that still read? Yeah. Still read? It actually does. I don't, I don't think it's going to read forever. Nah. Trying to avoid the stuff. There's a big log on the other side. Yeah. There. So, it cut out then? Yeah, but I think... It should stay recording inside. Should. Oops. Ooh, that's I think I, I think it stopped. Ah, my rider's gone. Okay. Definitely hit something. All right, do we get any readings on there, Brock? We got some. Yeah. So the ESC is up to 32. Do we get a max um, amp draw? <laughs> Having a bit of a funny moment there. But... And we'll see the speed while you're looking at that. Yeah, um, let's have a look. So it does the SR setting rob speed or not? Oh, yeah, wow, okay. Well, that doesn't seem right. Did 90 k's in it yesterday, did 79 today. Yeah, right. Very strange. Same prop, haven't changed one thing on it. Exactly the same batteries. Haven't changed any settings, so... Okay, he's dropped out. Don't understand that. Okay, so we've got a max ESC temperature of 44 degrees Celsius. Yep. Um, it won't be... <laughs> no, we drove it back slow, yeah, I yeah, know. 30. We bent the rudder. So down 26 now. So it's probably was about right when it got here though. 19, 26 <coughs> on the motor, 26 there, and 18 on the batteries, 20 on the batteries. And the max amps it drew was 181. Oh, okay. So, so it does tell you that. if you had the stock ESC, it wouldn't have been any good. So what are they, 170? 160. 160, there you go. So it would have um, cut out with that for sure. Possibly. They have a burst. Like they, they have a, burst, a, yeah. a quick thing that you can peak up to, but you just won't be constant. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, okay. Okay. 
I'd like to run it again, but I can't because the water's just so bad out there. Just 